Please join me as I speak to you briefly on the subject, Great is Thou Faithfulness. And that faithfulness endures from the beginning to the end, from Alpha to Omega, no matter what the situation may be in our life. God is indeed faithful to us. And as we were singing this morning, great is thou faithfulness to us. But you know, sometimes we lose our faithfulness in God. God is there for us, but sometimes we turn away from God. God never turns away from us. The words of our lead scripture rings true in our ears. Though our way may seem dim and painful, and sometimes it looks hopeless, but still in the midst of it all, praise God from whom all blessings flow. The problem is it seems that we turn to God more and more and more when we experience hardships and struggles and pain and misery and loss. And these things are very real and they're very painful. And they can happen in our home and in our families and in our communities. And then we cling to our faith in God as if God went away during our sorrows or despair or tragedies and was not there when we needed him most. This is not true. God is always there in the good times and the bad. God is always there in our pain and our miseries and our suffering. God is there in the midst of whatever we might be experiencing right now. God never leaves us, even for a moment even when he does not seem to be there. God does not let us go. God does not go from us, though oftentimes we go from him. Unless we come to know the faithfulness of God, we may remain in despair and feel trouble when bad times come. And I know we want to be as faithful to God as God is to us. So I want to share three points and then I'm done for this message. And I want you to make note of them, if you would. First, when we experience pain and suffering and challenges, we must praise God who is always present to comfort us no matter our troubles. Our lead scripture says, praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then it says something that we need to remember. God is the father of compassion. God is the father and the mother of comfort. God's assurance is there no matter what might happen to us. And he's there to comfort us. He comforts us in all of our troubles. But we must hold on to our faith. For as we sing so joyously this morning, great is God's faithfulness to us. And when we believe that and when we mean that, the Holy Spirit will descend upon us and give us the peace that we need. So first, we must praise God in the good times and the bad. We gotta praise God from whom all blessings flow even when it doesn't seem so. Second, we have to move beyond our desire to be comfort, comforted to our willingness to comfort others. It's amazing sometimes how in the midst of my pain and my suffering, if I'm willing to help somebody else, if I'm willing to comfort somebody else, if I'm willing to turn to somebody else, how much peace and serenity that I feel. One of the greatest prayers is that of St. Francis. 
It's a beautiful prayer, not because of who wrote it, but because of its words. It says, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, of your comfort. Make me an instrument where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. And then those closing words of the prayer is were the ones that I pay attention to. It says, O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And then that final verse we always should remember, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. We should always remember that. And our lead scripture ends with these words. It says, God comforts us so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. There's no doubt in my mind that the comfort this community is receiving and will receive will come from God, and it will allow all of us to comfort one another. And finally, in addition to our willingness to comfort others and to praise God, we must note the words of that great hymn that we sang so joyously this morning. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Have you ever noted the words to that song? I know you may have sang it so many times. It begins with, great is thou faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow, it says, of turning with thee. God never turns away, no matter what we're facing. It says there is no shadow of turning with thee. And then it says God does not change. Thou changes not, it says. Thou compassion, it says. It fails not. Then it says, as thou has been, thou shalt forever be. And then that second verse says, pardon for sin and a peace that endureth. Thou own dear presence, the presence of God, to cheer and to God. And then that last two verses gives us our message for today. Strength, strength, strength for today. And bright hope for tomorrow.